Six months ago, I decided being mentally stable is boring, so I started developing my first game and turned this into this. I'm making a dark themed spell based roguelite with an advanced movement system where you can equip gear with unique bonuses and set bonuses similar to the arm. The focus will be the combat system and spells will be highly customizable and I plan to release the game at the end of 2024. The first thing was downloading Unity and then the torture started. As the wise philosopher Socrates once said, Make your first indie game small. So I was prepared and I knew what to do. Pick a 44 hour Dark Souls tutorial series with countless mechanics because my head told me You can do it! I watched the first 10 episodes, copied the steps and realized I don't understand anything. I don't understand what this, this, this or any of these mean. So of course completely on my own, I came up with the idea that maybe I should just start small. That's pretty big, Mara. So I started small and made only the basic movement. But in order to manifest the newly acquired knowledge, I also implemented a side dodge and a wall jump. Now the movement felt flexible and I was proud of my first own implementations. Great! So now I can start with the weapons and attack animations. This will get embarrassing. I knew what attack animations I wanted for the swords, but I didn't know how the frames have to look. So I made videos of myself and then I looked frame by frame how I have to animate the character. I felt pretty weird, but that helped tremendously and the animations turned out great. Or at least some were great or decent. Okay, maybe they needed some polishing and I needed to find the right settings in order to make them look not so weird, but later they look good and I spammed at least an hour just spamming the attack and animations. Next were the visuals. I changed them so many times, definitely too many times, but over-optimization tends to be a problem of mine. But after some time I settled for this color theme, which will be the first of four color themes. First I wanted to make an RPG, but they need so much time in order to be good, so I decided I will make a rogue light, not a rogue like, because a rogue like has no meter progression, which is very important for me. So there will be multiple smaller islands instead of one big island, similar to Crab Champions. Also I finally had the first self-made character. My wife made the model and then I made the model again. You may ask yourself now, why did he do the model again? And that is a really good question. In order to use the model, you have to make a lower resolution model of the original model, otherwise it takes up way too many resources. The lower resolution model can use below 5% of the resources the original model would use. And I tell you, the process of making the low resolution model is hard, tedious and pretty annoying. If you want to know how that works, look at retopology and baking. It took me at least two weeks, buckets of sweat and blood and I definitely lost at least half of my brain cells while finishing this character, but I guess now I have a game ready character. And by that point I had also fixed the gravity while jumping. Because before it looked way too floaty and didn't offer much of a fast paced movement. Now I doubled the gravity, tripled it at the top and quadrupled it while falling. That makes jumping feel much more clean and smooth as well as offering a heightened skill ceiling. I'm currently working on the ability and interface system, my wife already made the visuals for the ability interface and the inventory interface comes next. Abilities should be highly customizable with different rarities and I love the idea of abilities triggering other abilities. So you will have four slots at max. These slots consist of one basic ability, which can be connected to three other abilities through transitions. Transitions could be if you hit four enemies at once, trigger this ability, or 5% chance to also trigger this ability. Maybe even multiple transitions to one ability. The abilities itself will have slots around the symbols where you can give them perks like trigger itself again upon despawning or abilities triggered in an earthquake formation. So once in the middle, one wave around that and another wave around that. This is for example the first ultimate ability combined with a basic projectile attack and the ultimate ability gets triggered in an earthquake formation. There may be points which I will have to eliminate if it turns out I'm not able to finish the game on time. It takes up a considerable amount of brain capacity for me to decipher all these ideas and images I have for the ability system and then make a coherent system out of them. And I know I have to think carefully about what I'm able to implement because that is the thing I tend to overestimate, but I hope I can come at least close to what I think I'm capable of making for my first game and I hope more and more people will join this journey and support the idea. Thanks for watching and have a great day.